Hey everybody, welcome back to Bible Study with a Sown Seed. We are finishing up what we started last week and we are reading from Mark 5, 15 through 20. And we are doing part two of What Happens After. Enjoy! This is where I want you guys to start to revamp right here. Because we make so much to do about what am I going to do when I graduate career-wise? What am I going to do? Where am I going to live? What am I going to do? How much money am I going to make? And it's like, that's all great. I get it. But all of a sudden, we start to squeeze God out. I don't want another generation who was strong in God in college and then lost God as soon as they left. That's just as bad as those that were strong in God growing up and going to college and lose God. It's like the cycle stopped. And it's almost like we found a shortcut for four years to keep the cycle going, but then all of a sudden, the cycle breaks. Or by the time we do pick it back up, it's that religious cycle again where, oh, I just, I, need, I know I need to go to church and, and God knows my heart. <laughs> And, you know, I'm going to do this, but God will forgive me. And we start to learn what we can get away with, and we still think we're okay. And, and I think that we need to remind ourselves of the story. What did Jesus do for you? These years that happened in college, don't forget them, right? You know, I look back 2013 or 2014, and I'm like, God, what did you do a new life through me? I mean, I was teaching, but what were you doing in my life? And I remind myself of the story so that when I'm outside, I'm not lost. Yes, I have a church home, a community that I call my own. I have my wife, but I have to stay connected to God's story. And then I need to share it. Because if I don't share it, it goes stagnant inside me, and then it loses its power. So sharing the story is what we're supposed to do. And I, it got to be... Some of y'all are going to be like, how do I share my story? Skip. Live it. Each day. Live the story. First off, don't think you have to go out with a Bible, stand on a table and say, this is what the Lord says. You know, we live in L.A., so people do that on the streets. And you know what happens? People walk right on by. <laughs> they be like, the people who are screaming out in there, like, you're going to hell if you don't listen. It's like... They're screaming a story which has foundation in the Bible, but it doesn't have love. So people don't receive it, and they think those are crazy Christians again. Live the story. And then as you live amongst people, the door will open where you get to tell the story. See, you never know what living and telling your story will do for the people that pass you every day. You might be on a job, and you say, all right, my boss is getting on my nerves, so... Live God's story of good stewardship under your boss. Be a good server. Be diligent about your work. Do it on time. Turn things in. Show up early. Show up early. Live God's story. And then they'd be like, you know what? Promotion. Raise. Corner office. Things start happening. And then people are like, what's so special about you? Then you, let me tell you my story. You know what? I was faithful over little, and I believe my God gave me much. I believe that I served, and God rewarded that faithfulness with more. And then say, and God can do the same for you. He wants to show his love to you, not just so you can get more, because he wants to have a relationship. Share the story. But first, live the story. But before we can live the story, all of you must know the story. And that is the personal walk with God that we all must do. We heard the story in Sunday school. We heard the story in Vacation Bible School. We heard it in Thursday night Bible studies. We heard it on podcasts. You know, we can go get church 24-7 now. But do you know the story for yourself? Has this word become alive to you yet? When it said that God bore his, the pain and the shame have you put yourself and say, the pain and shame, he took it for you. He nailed to the cross and died. He did it personally for you. Have you known this story inwardly and say intimately, yes, love, God's love for me. Oh, I finally get it. This is what transforms me. God's saying, you got a new season you're about to approach. Let's do it again. Let's get back to knowing the story. Let's practice living the story and be prepared to share the story at any moment. 
No, live, share. No, live, share. No, live, share. That's what that man faced in the cemetery. He found God for himself. He had a, an intimate encounter, so he knew God. And then when God said to go, Jesus said, go to 10 towns. Go, share it. He had to live it. He couldn't just talk about it and then be crazy. He said, look, the chains are gone. I am not naked anymore. I'm clothed. I'm in my right mind. He was living the story. And everyone has said, what happened to you? He can now tell the story. I want you all to take time to know God's story. Every day of your life from this day forward. People say, Skip, how do you stay connected? How do you keep growing? How does it change your life? Knowing God's story every day. That Jesus loved you enough to die for you. That he didn't stay dead, but he rose again and empowered you to do the same. To live a life of freedom. And then you say, let me practice living this. Will you be perfect? No. But you start saying each day, how do I act more like Jesus? How do I talk more like Jesus? How do I do what he did? Live among people and share love. And then every time that door starts to crack open, and they say, how come? You say, I'm prepared to share. It's all about Jesus, what he did for me, and he can do it for you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, we want to hear from you, and check out our social media. And what else? And don't forget to subscribe. Check out the last video we posted, and we'll see you next time.